The nail plate is the hard thing which we see. The lunula is the moon shaped thing at the base of the nail. Cuticle is the small skin that is hanging at the base. And nail bed is below the nail. And nail groove is the groove around that nail. See a cross section of this. You see the matrix at the base of the nail. Matrix is the live portion which produces the, the cells, you know, for production of the nail. Or it, it is the site where the nail is being generated, the nail cells. And then the nail is pushed from the matrix. As it goes ahead, it becomes harder, harder, harder. And the nail plate is formed. Now the cuticle, the lunula, the nail bed, the free edge of the nail, the nail plate, hyponychium. Hyponychium is below the nail. Here there's an aponychium that is above the nails. Very simple. Nychium means nail. So hyponychium and eponychium. Epidermis, dermis, and subcutaneous. The hyponychium and eponychium, not very important. What we have to know is the nail plate. Nail plate is the visible part of the nail. The lunula is the moon-shaped white, white half moon shape thing at the base of the nail. The matrix is the one matrix is one which is not seen, which is the light portion, and it, it is the it is the cause. It is actually uh, it is the part which produces the nail, the light part. If something happens to the matrix, the nail will get damaged. It will not get produced or will become abnormal. Again, this similar sort of picture, so that I can, uh, as I told, any one of the picture will hit you, and you will understand what the nail anatomy is. Nail plate, the cuticle, and this is the lunula, the nail fold, nail matrix. Now, what is nail? Nail is a claw-like plate at the tip of the fingers and the toe. Nail, I need not tell you what is it. I mean, nail dikta hai, angutta, the nakhun, nakhun jo bolte hindi mein. That is the nail corresponds to the claws found in other animals. Claws means panja. Fingernails and toenails are made of tough tough protective protein, the keratin. So ultimately it is the keratin only. Skin ke upar bhi keratin hai, but the keratin layer is very thin. So, so the, that's why the skin is not very thick. That same type of keratin is, is present in the nail, but it is thick, compact. That's why it is, it is, it is uh, hard. Again, a small uh, picture of anatomy so that you again go through that. There's a nail matrix is that the base of the nail, the root of the nail, and then you have the proximal nail fold, then the nail plate. And uh, below the nail is the nail bed, and you have that phalanx, that is the bone. And below that, below the bone is the soft part of the finger, that is the fat. So nail matrix generates cells. As I told you, the nail matrix is instrumental in generating the live cells, which move forwards and becomes harder to form the nail plate. Size, length, and thickness depends on the nail matrix. So the size of the nail, the length of the nail and the thickness of the nail all depends on the matrix. Whereas the shape of the nail is dependent on the underlying bone. So we have to understand that. So the, the shape of the nail is because of the underlying bone, the last bone of the uh, finger or the toe. And the size, the length and the thickness is depending on the matrix. Now, what we all feel is nail is, is very hard, waterproof, and nothing can be, no, it is not like that. Nail is more permeable than skin or almost as permeable than sk as skin. It can absorb moisture, chemicals, and water, everything. It, ca it can absorb very well everything. So don't be under the impression that the nail is, is hard and uh, it's like glass and it cannot, nothing can penetrate. Very wrong. Nail is, again, a keratin. It can definitely penetrate. Only thing is it doesn't have blood vessels so that it's not painful. And uh, if it penetrates, it can go into the base and then uh, the nail bed and everything can be absorbed through that. Of course, the area of the nail is so small that whatever you apply, it will be very little and whatever gets absorbed may not be so toxic. But, but by definition, nail definitely can absorb things as well as good as the skin. Nails have pores just as the skin does. So harsh chemicals from the nail polish are able to seep through the nail and enter into the body, which can be harmful. Now, this is very important. Now, nail, nail polishes, people use nail polish to protect the skin. And if you don't use the proper nail polish, the toxins from the nail polish can get into the bloodstream. As I told you, the quantity is very small, so it may not be very dangerous. But yes, certain nail polish, which, uh, which is absolutely dummy poor quality with no um, regulation on that, 
you can have anything uh, put in it and it can cause damage. Nail is not waterproof. So frequent use of water can damage the nail. Frequent use of water means suppose you dip your hand in water, wash frequently. What happens is when you wash frequently, the water is absorbed by the nail and the nail becomes damp. Correct. And then when, they, when you're off the water, the nail dries. Then when you again put your hand in water, it gets absorbed again, then it dries. So frequent drying and uh, uh, getting wet will cause damage to the nail. And it will cause, you know, the lusterless nail, the dry nails, similar to skin, you know, skin also, how it is dry, lusterless, same, same thing will happen to the nails also. So don't be under the impression that nail is waterproof, frequent washing can damage the nail as much as it can damage the skin. And stop believing that nail is not water, nail is waterproof. It is not waterproof, it can absorb moisture. <clears throat> okay. Now, just to show what that lunula is here, you can see that lunula, the half moon shape at the base of the nail, that is lunula. And lunula is, is more visible in the thumb and less visible in the uh, little finger. You can all see that. Don't get shocked if you don't have lunula in the little finger. Little finger, may, it is so small that sometimes it is not seen also. So the lunula is more visible in the um, thumb and less visible or a very small one in the little finger. This I'm telling because we should know what the normal is. If we don't know what the normal is, how we can differentiate between normal and abnormal. So to know the normal, we should always, abnormal, we should know the normal things first. So this is lunula. There are conditions where the lunula is affected, but for time being, you should understand that lunula is the, the half moon shaped white portion at the base of the nail, or you can say the proximal end of the nail. And it is more seen in the thumb and very small in the little finger. What is the nutrition required for the nail? I've just mentioned here because last time we had full topic on nutrition and skin. So what is required for the nail? Biotin is required, vitamin B12 is required, protein, calcium and omega-3 fatty acid. These are the things which are required for, for a healthy nail. This is the nutrition for the healthy nail. And so this is also very important in human fingernails grows at the average rate of 3.5 mm a month. That's 0.1 mm a day. You should try to understand this. Remember, now how does the nail grow? Nail grows straight. It doesn't grow upwards. It grows straight from the proximal end to the distal end, like a train. It goes from, from the base, it moves forward, 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 forward. It doesn't just udhone hota upar, it just moves forward. You can simply remember, nail moves forward. As it grows, the nail moves forward. At what rate will it move forward? 0.1 mm per day. Okay, 0.1 mm per day, it moves. Which one? The fingernails and the toenails, half of that speed. So, 0.05 mm per day, or roughly, if you want to remember, 3.5 mm a month, it grows. 0.1 is, is uh, simple. I'll tell you how to remember all these things. These numbers don't get confused. But one, one should understand that the nail grows straight, the rate of fingernails at rate of 0.1 mm a day, and toenails at half that, actually. Length of the nail is around 10 to 15 mm only. So if it, if it grows at around 0.1 mm per day, 10 to 15 mm ka nail grow ne, kitna time lagega from this end to that end say so suppose this is one end of the one end of the uh, you can say from vira to church gate this is from vira to church gate one end day. so um, how much time will it take from one end to the other end it will take 10 mm ka nail rega, so it will take 100 days and 150 15 mm by 150 100 days around three to three, three and a half months so the nail from this end to that end will take one nail cup point from this to that end will take around three to four months. So the finger nail and double the thing for the toenails because it is growing at half the speed. So it will, it will take around three to six months. The finger nails three to six months and the toenails will take six to 12 months. That is double the time. I know you are very confused with this and you will find why is he teaching all these things, useless things and all that. But I'll tell you how it is important. Just remember 0.1 mm per day. Uh, that is one point. Second thing is 10 mm or 15 mm ka nail ka length reta hai. And if it grows around 3.5 mm a month, that means ye end se wo end, it will take around three months. So one third of the nail or one fourth of the nail will take one month to grow. So keep that one fourth or one third of the nail will take one month to grow. Now, 
this is what i want to so now this this is some nail art that they have done and the nail has grown so you can see that normal nail below now this has grown pushing that acrylic nail ahead or in front leaving that normal skin behind so now when you see such a picture you will easily know when was this nail art done see almost i would say this is half of the nail and as i told 3 months lagta hai ya 4 3 to 4 months then half of the nail it is done around 1 and half to 2 months before so you can easily when you see such a finger you can tell you can ask them or you can you can you can dig. you will know the time ek ek ded mahine pehle kiya tha ye so that's why the nail has moved forward taking that acrylic nail along with it and the normal nail nail is seen and the normal nail is almost half the whole nail half little less than that maybe so you can you can easily predict that this nail art was done one and half to two months before same here you can see the nail paint nail paint has traveled half the distance half the distance is traveled in one and half to two months ye nail paint kab kiya tha unhone do mahine pehle barabar similarly kisi ne mehndi laga ke aaya hoga and then if this was the mehndi color you would have thought ki mehndi lagaya ghar mein pura haath mein mehndi hai you can very well uh, you know uh, guess that there was some function two months back and half dekhte nail dekhte ha kya tha aapke ghar mein kuch function tha do mahine pehle patient was impressed without without telling anything how can he make out mere ghar mein function tha do mahine pehle theek hai do mahine pehle ded mahine pehle because then mehndi mehndi is usually important functions and then it has traveled this much so that two months ho gaye usme so you can very well impress them by all these things see this nail now when it day 1 was this day 14 it has traveled day 14 mein kitna mm jayega you can calculate correct the so 0.1 mm per day to so 14 mm 14 days mein 1.4 mm if you have 1.4 mm from the base it is 14 days ka nail paint see nail paint how it has traveled it has left a normal uh, nail below that now coming to diseases of the nail you can see this this is called uh uh buse line now this buse line you can see this uh, depression here this happens when there is a disease at a at certain stage whatever this fever or or anything and then this line travels ahead now then see looking at this finger you can say okay it is almost half the distance of that uh, nail ka traveling so it is two months pehle you can very well ask them ke do mahine pehle koi bimari thi aapko or you will understand ke do mahine pehle usko koi bimari thi jiske wajah se he was possibly maybe hospitalized or severe fever hua tha koi infection hua tha you can predict all those things with the nail same this white spot again traveled half so it is two months pehle kuch problem hua tha now this is two months pehle two do teen mahine pehle problem tha because they have got white spots at this level and behind half is okay so that means the patient was not well around two months back or three months back four months back कुल दो तीन महीने तक बीमार था और उसके बाद दो महीने पहले ठीक हो गया अभी दैट इज हाउ यू कैन डू ऑल दिस प्रिडिक्शन एंड एंड अंडरस्टैंड एज वेल एज इम्प्रेस द पेशेंट ऑल्सो ना बिफोर द पेशेंट टेल्स यू एनीथिंग यू कैन आस्क एंड इम्प्रेस द पेशेंट विद ऑल दिस थिंग्स यू लुक लाइक ऑल्सो अ गुड डॉक्टर एंड अ गुड एस्ट्रोलॉजर ऑल्सो के भाई कैसे था आपको दो महीने पहले बीमार पड़े थे हाँ विल बी वेरी इम्प्रेस बाई यूर एक्स्ट्रा नॉलेज दैट यू हैव वॉट आर द फंक्शन ऑफ द नेल functions is first to protect the digits self protection also because the nails will act like like some tool where it can scratch can grab improves the tactile sensation because if there was no nail there is nothing hard uh, below uh, the fingertip so that the sensations will not be proper so it improves the tactile sensation gives strength to the finger improves the grip acts as a tool to pick up small things if you want to pull out a nail or some thorn from the foot how will you do it you will use the nail if you don't have nail you know how terrible it is helps to grab scratch dig climb and so many things so functions of the nail you can see cannot peel without the nail cannot scratch without the nail you can you cannot use you can, of course you can use the computer but it will be difficult you know when when the nail is not there it will be also soft is soft it is like wearing a cushion on it you cannot pull out a thorn or something which is gone inside if you don't have the nail you cannot protect yourself bachche log fighting train mein fighting and all the sector ready ready um what should i tell ready tool that you have to 
fight, you know. And what happens? Nail and scabies. Ke saath kaisa hota hai? Scabies patient will keep scratching with the nail. If they have long nails, they will keep scratching and they will have infection. So nail scabies. Pehla patient ko pehla nail cutne bolne ka because otherwise it will get infected also. Nail and worm infestation. What happens is worms ka jo eggs rehta hai that will get lodged in that nail bed and when they eat that egg goes inside. So nail first cut the nail short if you want to prevent worm infestation also. Scalp, you know, when they scratch because of lice or anything, the nail can cause injury there and cause infection also. Nail is very painful nail avulsion. So that's why nail ka punishment is terrible. So nail, don't try to avulse the nail. Nain, 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 kuch nikal denge. Do minute aap mu lo, mu cotton dal, I mean, kerchief rakhlo, nikal jayega. Don't do all that. Nail removal is terribly painful. Nail, without nail, you will know what music you can play. The tabla is one of them, the guitar and so many things. I don't know, so many instruments can be played uh, only because of the nails. They have. Without the nails, it will sound, I don't know what. But definitely, it, the nails are very useful in you know, all these things. So now you have, you have understood how useful the nail is and how neglected the nail was. You are not even looking at the nail. We are the auscultation karke. And we are happy with diagnosing and treating. The nail is so important part. Very small, poor fellow standing at the end of the body and protecting like, like the soldiers at the border. This is one of the use. Don't do that. Don't use your nail as a tool. All these things, don't use it. You may break and damage the nail. For such things, you have some add-ons where you can use it to uh, peel things without damaging the nail. How will you take care of the nail? You'll have to cut it properly up to the base so that nothing is, is uh, hidden there, which, which can be ingested and can, and can cause infection. After cutting the nail, you will file the nail. What is filing? Filing is just making it smooth with, with a sandpaper sort of thing. You know, all nail cutters will have a rough uh, surface where you can rub and make it smooth. Otherwise, it will get entangled in, in clothes or the fibers and it will get pulled out and the nail will also get damaged along with it. Good nutrition is very important for the nail. You do whatever and if you don't eat good food, your nail will be always a sick nail. So now, since you have finished the introduction, now I'm going to talk about nail and disease. Let me tell you, we are going to we are going to discuss around 30 or little more than that, that many diseases of the nail. Don't worry, it will be just a walkthrough, you know. Don't try to memorize it, don't get confused if you don't understand what it was. What I want you to know with these 30 things is that there is ho sakti hai. So when you know that aisa kuch ho sakta hai, then your eyes will start seeing. As I told you in the beginning, the first slide is, I want your mind to know that such things exist. Then your eyes will automatically see and over a period of time you will learn everything in that. So today you need not understand everything. You just, you have to know that there is something like 30 plus nail disorders. That is less. If you give me time, I would have made it 60 plus nail disorders. That would have been very toxic. So 30 nail disorders you will understand today and just samad lena ke 30 type ka. You will, you will know, of course, there are so many which you will understand also. But don't get worried if you don't understand. First is pallor, which we all see in our uh, uh, medical uh, uh, schools. Cause of pallor is anemia, simple. Low cardiac output because of some cardiac disease. Peripheral shutdown because of some sympathetic activity. Very simple. Agar yaan pe oxygen nahi hai, to wo pale hi dikhega. So anemia mein oxygen carrying capacity is less. So it will look pale. Heart disease may again the oxygen that is carried is less, so it is looking pale. Peripheral shutdown meaning a patient who has got some problem with the digits and the blood vessels are uh, you know contracted, there is no supply of blood, it will look pale. Extreme cold weather, rega is some other problem, it can happen. Sinosis. Sinosis is similar to anemia where the oxygen carrying capacity is okay, but but blood is coming there. Blood is there in the nail, but the blue color blood, you know, I am trying to make it very simple. Blue blood is circulation. That is that happens with heart disease, lung disease, hemoglobinopathies, <clears throat> sorry, and Raynaud's disease. Now the blood is circulating here, but which blood is circulating? The blue blood. Blue blood is which blood? The impure blood. So there are two bloods, pure and impure, very simple. I mean, very layman, I'm talking like <clears throat> blue blood is the, <clears throat> sorry, sorry, the 
impure blood if the impure blood is in circulation that you can see cyanosis there is something like central cyanosis and peripheral cyanosis don't get into that <clears throat> if you see a blue nail it is cyanosis there is some circulation problem and something little serious so you refer and treat them at the hospital level <clears throat> icterus you all know jaundice yellow color nail along with that you will see yellow sclera and all the by the time the nails become yellow it is too late huh? so now we just put this because because in medical college we have only seen pallor cyanosis icterus and clubbing no beyond that we have not if you know four we will pass very well with that icterus me to by the time the nails become yellow the patient will be staring yellow no the eyes will be yellow the skin will be yellow so the nail is not the first thing the, <clears throat> the sclera is the first thing to get uh, the changes so look at the sclera in case of jaundice by the time the anguta me dikhta hai tab tak nails me dikhta hai tab tak it is it is it is too late late not for the patient serious yes or not it is very obvious by that time everybody would have diagnosed even the grandmother would have diagnosed yellow jaundice and there is nothing much adding to your uh, uh, credits there a yellow scler sclera and nails other signs are also seen nausea vomiting you no know, jaundice may so look out for that don't don't wait till the nails turn yellow and you uh, start diagnose uh, seeing the nail <clears throat> pigment stays for some time after the disease is cured now this is also important even in the sclera what happens is jaundice is the the color stays for a longer time so if the if the eyes are not white it doesn't mean ke jaundice gaya nahi ab tak jaundice pehle urine mein jayega fir blood mein jayega and then this pigments will disappear so the eyes mein ya nail mein hai so don't think that the jaundice is still there it will come little late and go also little late <clears throat> clubbing clubbing is the normal curvature which is lost and this clubbing is seen where the blood oxygen levels are less so diseases in which the blood oxygen levels are less like copd and uh, some heart disorders and some intestine cut cystic fibrosis and other things where that where the lungs you know the lungs ka uh, elasticity is less basically the blood ka oxygen is less some people will have in families also so when you see a club mail you ask ghar mein kisi ko hai to don't worry about it if not then look out for any cardiac or lung problem detached nail the nail getting lifted above now nail is looking pink because of it being attached to the nail bed now if it is lifted above the nail bed due to any reason it look it look white like i how it is seen in the Uh, picture now what are the causes of nail uh, getting detached from the nail bed it is either fungus or psoriasis or some aggressive manicure or some damage with a sharp object to try to remove something like a, um, uh, a wooden splinter that is gone inside and you try to remove it and you detach the nail from that area that is what causes this detached nail so fungal infection and psoriasis are the disease and other things are injury and, uh, and uh, aggressive manicure onychomycosis i think fungus lesson may be have Uh, we have seen onychomycosis is uh, fungal infection of the nail. <clears throat> fungal nail infection, common infection of fungal nail. We had a full topic on fungal infection, so uh, you know how it looks. Any dirty looking nail, damaged nail, yellow nail is fungal infection. Most of the times, for a general practitioner, fungal infection, fungal infection of the nail is not very painful unless the surrounding tissue is is also inflamed. this names are very very difficult to uh, um, uh, remember and memorize and i genuinely feel now we have got uh, anatomy book in hindi some people don't uh, like it but i feel that it is time that we also see uh, onychomycosis mycosis is fungus onycho means nail in some language some greek german whatever it is we could have very well told uh, nail ka fungus see onycho nail nakhun fungus whatever you call in hindi or whatever right? it would have been so simple when we say nail ka fungus we don't have to remember anything we have to remember this in some foreign language and memorize it we don't know whether we are pronouncing it properly also so uh, yes the soon we will have everything in hindi marathi gujarati and other languages and i think in a way it is good we don't have to memorize this uh, foreign names paronychia is redness and swelling around the nail it can be either bacterial or fungal fungal is less painful bacterial is more pain, painful simple paronychia is infection around the nail if it is very painful lapkara marta bishu matlab lapkara mar raha hai niche aata gaya tha lapkara mar raha hai that is bacterial if they come and dekho kya hai aaj mein sujan aa gaya hai kya karte hai ghar mein kaam karte hai ha ha kaam karte hai sab bartan bhi main hi dhoti ho karte hai more common with 
with seen more in ladies who are doing ghar mein sab kaam wohi karte hai aur some maids who are doing always in water doing ghar ka kaam sab to they it is more common the fungus one and the bacterial one is common when they aisa chaba liya ya you know the skin chota sa baju mein nail ke surrounding usko nikal liya so they get infected and they have painful peronychia so simple mein painful peronychia hai to pus filled peronychia it is more bacterial if it is pain less painful very chronic it is more of a fungal type to remove the cause also patients who are working in water should be told to avoid water i know they will not because whenever i tell my patient ke pani mein kaam karne ka band karo uske aage main bol deta don't ask me ki kaun karega karke because patients always tell me ladies aayenge bole jab ye sab main bola aap ghar mein sab aap hi kaha karte ho usko band karna padega fir kaun karega fir kaun karega main bol main to nahi karunga and abhi to main pehle hi bol deta hu ki dekhiye aapko kaam nahi karna padega ghar mein pani ka kaam kam karna padega kaun karega mat puchna mere ko aapko kam karna padega then certainly i tell them gloves pehn ke karna and all that and gloves bhi jo surgical gloves pehn na otherwise the, the husband very enthusiastically gets a big gloves you know you get it on the मार्केट जो सीमेंट वाले का ग्लव आता है ब्यूटीफुल विथ ऑल दो ब्रशेज एंड ऑल दो बट उसमें तो वाटर पीछे से चले जाते हैं इट इज ऑलवेज वेट इन साइड सो विथ एटलीस्ट देन देर वॉशिंग आउट ऑफ दैट ड्राई हो जाता है बाद में बट हियर तो वेन एवर देर वेयरिंग दैट इट इज ऑलवेज वेट इट नेवर ड्राई सो बी केयरफुल विथ वॉट टाइप ऑफ ग्लव यू टेल दैन पेशेंट बोले ग्लव दे लो तो एंथुजियाजिकल वो हस्बैंड पहले ही जाके बाद में ले लेता है कहीं उसको बर्तन धोना ना पड़े नेक्स्ट डे से तो इट्स अ ब्यूटीफुल ग्लव वेरी बिग बिग वन फ्रॉम वॉटर विल गो फ्रॉम एवरी वेयर सो टेल दम टू बाई सर्जिकल ग्लव नीड नॉट बी स्टराइल टेल दम टू बाई हंड्रेड का पैकेट डबल डबल पहनो मंगता है तो फटा फेंक डालो दूसरा नया पहनो मेलानोमा इफ यू सी अ डार्क स्टीक द नेल a line a black line and then and on the nail think of melanoma melanoma is a skin cancer but don't worry skin cancer melanoma is is slightly slightly dangerous but uh, the treatment is very simple and and complete also so if you try to diagnose melanoma and help the patient you will you will definitely get the credit of it because it is completely treatable you remove the part of that melanoma a half inch around or one inch around that and the, it doesn't go beyond that unless it is very late and it gets it, it is gone into the lymph nodes but then also you i mean death because of melanoma is is not so common if you diagnose it earlier so keep that in mind if a, if you see a black line coming it it can be melanoma don't declare that melanoma hoga aapko cancer hoga dekho abhi ka no no don't do all that you may be wrong and cancer and other things are not accepted very easily so you don't just declare that it can be cancer tell them kuch bhi andar se grow hota hoga dekh lete kya hai karke karke then you send to the specialist or a surgeon or get a biopsy done fitting of the nail you see small pits in the nail that is seen usually in psoriasis atopic dermatitis and alopecia areata useless thing looking at the nail and looking for but you can see psoriasis you can see atopic dermatitis but this is just a finding which which you should just look at it and enjoy and doesn't give any information yellow nail yellow nail because of damage caused by nail polish smoking lung disease and rheumatoid arthritis so remember yellow nail nail polishes and smoking to yellow nail dekha to you can just ask cigarette pite hai kya patient will be thoda impressed by your Uh, detective knowledge views line views line are deep grooves that run the width of the nail matlab side ye side se wo side tak a deep groove and when it happens it happens when because of anything any disease or any condition where there is slowing or stopping of the growth of the nail for a while so nail kaise maine bola train jaisa jaate aage and for any reason if that stops for some time there is a groove that is generated and then again it is repaired to aage chalne laga gaadi wapas chalu ho gaya so that groove also travels ahead aage jata hai so now that timing what i told so 0.1 mm per month per day will be useful here so if you see how many kitna mm aage aaya and and you can predict kabhi wo bimar pada tha and impress the patient by asking them ke ab ye half hai almost it almost 2 months pehle patient must have had some serious problem fever injury some chemotherapy liya tha ya bahut stress tha kya patients are impressed you know if you if you if you find out all these things they tell and and you just conclude and go on writing no you should also be alert in seeing what are the signs that are there and what what information they are giving rams on ramson or onychogryphosis now this is the, the, the this is actually pronounced as ramson only it is not lord rama because the ram is the male sheep 
again some foreign name you know this is what i i feel this matlab is full of foreign names which we have to be, be, have more put more effort to remember that so this is a male sheep male sheep ka horn kaisa rehta hai maybe something in hindi we could have had very simple name but let us now for the time being have this name rams on or onico gryphosis onico gryphosis is much tougher than rams on so better remember uh, a, whichever is simpler this happens when the nail thickens and over grows you know you can see that nail which is over thickening ah, thick to okay okay fatafat grow hota hai and it curves curves and everything and it becomes uh, like a horn so this is called rams on in, in which condition it happens it happens in psoriasis ichthyosis ichthyosis a dry skin and circulatory problem coilonychia is spoon like nail you can see the thin nail and the spoon like thing there that happens in iron deficiency anemia very very standard thing iron deficiency anemia nutritional uh, the, the deficiency and the patient living in high altitude whenever there is oxygen less you know but I, what i what i feel is such itna level ka anemia itna level ka coilonychia is not seen nowadays but at least you should know that yeah aisa kuch rahega to coilonychia this is uh, iron deficiency anemia onychotelomania now onycho is nail tilo is traction mania is mania so this is something related to the mind where the patient keeps on rubbing on the nail in the in the, in the center and and it and it causes damage in the center of that nail you know some people have that habit of just doing like this like this like this like this and, and that is how they damage the center portion of the nail and this is what is seen so this is a sign of थोड़ा सा स्ट्रेस और साइकेट्रिक प्रॉब्लम और समथिंग वेर वेर दिस डैमेज नेल इज बिकॉज ऑफ दी पर्सन रबिंग और हैबिचुअल पिकिंग पुशिंग ऑफ द क्यूटिकल्स दैट इज व्हाट इट इज मीज लाइन मीज लाइन अगेन आर वाइट लाइंस ब्यूज लाइन वाज अ डिप्रेशन दिस इज जस्ट अ कलर वाइट लाइन ट्रैवलिंग फ्रॉम दिस एंड टू दर साइड फ्रॉम दिस साइड टू दर साइड and it is seen in periods of stress and poisoning now poisoning what poisoning arsenic thallium fluorosis and all that now this when can this happen this can happen with with medicines with the patient take on their own you know now so many patients take uh, medicines like uh, uh, over the counter medicine some uh, herbs ayurvedic medicines and they don't go to the doctor they feel ayurvedic medicine is very safe so they somebody tells them to take this and they keep on take, taking that without the doctor's knowledge so uh, such poisoning can happen with things which are not routinely taken and they keep on taking some some plant extract or some churan or something and then they land into poisoning and then that can be seen as mees line and also uh, all these rare poisonings are seen with rare medicines that they may be using some um, off medicines i would say uh, renal disease cardiac failure malignant disease and all that and now this this mees line if you press it doesn't fade up huh? because you will be seeing something like mees line in in the next few slides then, then that should not confuse you so mee will not fade with pressure leukonychia leuco again leuco means white nychia means nail leukonychia is white nail is usually not alarming at all some people will have it congenitally white nail some people will have this white dot which is coming it will travel aage 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 nikal jayega now this this is almost one third of the nail so it is around one month pehle se rahega ye idhar and it will disappear it has got no significance at all so it astrology mate has got more significance you go to go to the astrologer and ask them they will say you have got some lucky this thing shagun hai ye kuch acha hoga aapka so many things will happen you also can tell them that patients get something good is going to happen and everybody will have something good happening in 6 months time by the day by the nail time the nail grows and this over grows you know you will be given the credit of predicting good things only split nails split nail is the crack forming in the nail nail splits horizontally or at the tip or it's just like nail breaking you know usually the nail will not break it is tough enough to sustain anything but if you if you torture it it will break so vertical splitting and all can happen if the nails are weak nails can be weak because of some nutritional deficiency or physical stress you try to open things with that and it may break dabba khol rahe hain nahi kuch ye khol rahe hain can khol rahe to it may break at the tip sometime so that is the split nail Yeah, so we have seen. Bato bato me, we have covered almost seventeen types of nail problems. Dry and brittle nails. 
Now, dry and brittle nails are a result of too little moisture, like that dry nails. Right? Right? We cannot imagine the nail being dry, you know, because we always feel that it's dry, it's dry, it's dry, it's dry, it's dry. No, nail has got some moisture and when it becomes dry, it becomes brittle and rough also. So when does it happen? With aging, pure nutri poor nutrition and too much of washing, working in water. As I told you, pani gaya, sug gaya, pani gaya, sug gaya. You know, drying and uh, wetting it will cause damage to the nail and it will cause dry, brittle nails. So dry, brittle nails is also a condition. Don't think that the nail is very dry. How dry it can, how more dry it can become. Absent lunula, we have seen that half moon thing uh, on the first thing. There's no lunula here. Now, if you don't see the lunula, it is some malnutrition because of vitamin B12 deficiency in anemia, in vitiligo, patients on dialysis, pleural effusion, and cirrhosis. So if you see, if you don't see the lunula, think of all these things. Sir. Don't declare that it's for uh, pleural effusion. Ho gaya. I mean, it can be a simple and a normal thing also. But keep in mind that. You will be able to become a better doctor once you have all these things because patient comes to you first. Na? General practitioners ke paas hi pehle aate. Then you should be able to uh, pick up all these things. As, as I always tell, general practitioners should know that what is abnormal and something abnormal they should know. What is abnormal? What is to be done? Even if they don't know, no problem. We should know kuch to garbad hai. That is what we should understand. Kuch to garbad hai and then, then you can uh, explore what the garbad is and if it's really a garbad, not a garbad, whatever. But kuch to garbad hai wala cheez dhyan ana chahi. The patient, when the patient comes into your consulting, right from the time the patient enters, you observe the gate, chal ke kaise aya, betha kaisa, itna din se aaraya, aaj kuch alag mood mein hai, itna din kuch alag dikh raha tha, aaj kuch alag dikh raha hai. All those things, you, you recognize abnormal and normal ke beech ke lesa. You know this is something abnormal, then bhale, you will not be able to find out what is abnormal. You can send to the specialist, they will find out, but at least you should be able to find out or at least pick up that there is something abnormal. Terigium, terigium, aakho mein hota hai, say terigium, it is the skin that is being pulled along with the nail and sometimes it splits the nail into two. So you have two uh, nails in between the skin. I mean, the skin is traveling in between and the nail on either side. This is typical of lichen planus and some trauma also. If the nail bed is hit by something and, and uh, the damaged nail travels like that, you will have a terigem also. And it's typical of lichen planus. Terry's nail, Terry's nail, you see in serious conditions. Terry's nail, kaisa hota hai? there is no lunula. It's all white except for a pink pink uh, band at the tip of the nail. No, It's all white and pink band at the tip. That's Terry nail. This is seen in congestive cardiac failure, kidney failure, and other things. So Terry nail is seen in patients with the, who are in ICU. Simple, but you just know that. And when you see such things, diabetes, diabetes, be happy seeing that. Onycholysis, again, onyco, nail, lysis, uh, dissolver. So when the nail becomes loose and gets separated from the nail bed, it is called onycholysis. So when it separates from the nail bed, it will become white and opaque also. It is not no longer pink because the pink color is because of the nail sitting on the nail bed. Now it can be white, yellow, yellow, fungus, bacteria, gaya to green, whatever color it can have. But it will not be that pink color ka thing in onycholysis. What causes onycholysis? Injury or infection? Nail hardener and adhesives, you know, nail ke upar jo itne sare nail, uh, nail art mein, they, they have started using artificial nail for that they put some glue and so many things. That damages the nail, thyroid diseases and psoriasis. Yellow nail syndrome, nothing very uh, this. You just remember ke when you see patient with thick nail, yellow nail, not like that cigarette smoking wala, thick yellow nail. It can be either chronic bronchitis or lymphedema. Lymphedema, mein, the lymphatics are affected. So there you see edema and all that of the limb also. But you understand that yellow nail is seen in chronic bronchitis and lymph lymphedema. Just ye kaan se, wo kaan tak. Beech mein jitna rehta hai do, if you don't understand, forget about this nail. In growing, mm. in growing nail, you will see this very often because the, the nail actually, the, the sides of the nail dig into the skin and injure the skin. What happens that that acts like a knife there and it is there only. You are not allowing the skin to heal because that, that keeps hitting that part. So treatment, patient will come with painful condition. Then uh, first thing is to tell them
they usually they are wearing shoes and other things you know tight uh, uh, footwears tell them to not use that tight footwear use rahega to thoda heal hone ko dega give some antibiotics and uh, painkillers if it heals that nail even if it nail hitting on the normal skin nothing happens when that when the nail hits and damages the skin then the this cycle starts so see that the nail is not hitting the skin the skin heals and again it is ready to face that nail in rare case if it doesn't then the nail removal is one of the treatment <clears throat> nail removal maybe nail what whichever grows goes like that only again and if you send to a surgeon they may they may remove that much part of the base of the nail so that the nail from that part doesn't grow and then and you know that doesn't dig into the skin so that much part of nail will not grow anxiety and stress anxiety and stress cause the nail biting if you see this nail kabhi uga hi nahi itna tab base tak kata hua hai that means the patient is stressed because of something trauma you see this black black color ka nail this is because of trauma and the blood getting accumulated below the nail it's very painful initially and the patient some suppose kaise hota kuch gir gaya pair ke upar and the patient bleeds below the nail and the blood doesn't come out if the blood doesn't come out the nail accumulates inside and it is throat tense so it is painful you know painful and after one or two days that nail that blood leaks out like fluid from somewhere and the pain subsides the nail in in this full thing 50% chance the nail may get detached new nail will grow definitely but it's very painful in the initial stage splinter hemorrhage this is very typical of endocarditis which we will never see we will not see splinter hemorrhage but just remember that there is something like splinter hemorrhage the psoriasis infective heart carditis congenital heart diseases and all that knowing all these things will make thoda the life interesting you know otherwise same sardi khasi bukhar sardi khasi bukhar if you start seeing the nail at least once in a while you will enjoy all these things your case line is again same as the, that mees line which i told but this will will blanch with pressure and pressure kya to mirkes line kam ho jayega but this is seen in nephrotic syndrome glomerulonephritis this is seen when the protein hypoalbuminemia you see proteins are less mirkes line so any person with nephrotic syndrome hypoalbuminemia look at the nails if you can find something it maza aayega i know like kya there's no nails simple nails hi nahi hai this is a congenital abnormality तो नेल्स नहीं है तो नहीं है जस्ट कैन नॉट डू एनीथिंग यू कैन हेल्प देम बाय प्रॉपर फुटवेयर और समथिंग एंड नथिंग बियॉन्ड दैट इट इज नथिंग लाइक थ्रेटनिंग सी दैट दे डोंट डैमेज द टिप्स ऑफ द फिंगर बाकी देयर इज नथिंग मच टू ऐड टू इट दिस जस्ट अ कंडीशन लुक एट इट बी हैप्पी रैकेट नेल इज अगेन दिस लुक्स लाइक अ रैकेट दैट इज व्हाई इट्स कॉल्ड रैकेट नेल्स इट यूजुअली हैपेंस व्हेन द बोन बिलो इट इज डिस्टर्बड and acquires this shape you know because it disturbed with some osteolysis or psoriatic arthropathy or something when the distal uh, bone the shape is changed the nail ka shape also becomes like a racket red lunula lunula was white now this is red lunula is seen in cardiac failure chronic obstructive pulmonary disease cirrhosis chronic urticaria psoriasis and carbon monoxide poisoning just yaad rakhna carbon monoxide poisoning sub angular deposit carbon monoxide poisoning patient will not come to you with that pink lunula he will have some other thing carbon monoxide poisoning is a serious condition patient will be in the hospital either he is in some gas leakage or fire or something and he will be carried in the ambulance to the hospital you will have no time to look at that uh, red lunula and diagnose carbon monoxide this is just 30 ke baad sab interesting thing hai ki ye yaad rakhne ke liye bhai aisa kuch hota hai sub angular deposits sub angular deposits is below the nail deposit is more seen in so rashes and fungal infection and patients who do all those uh, gardeners and matti ka kaam jo karenge uske niche deposits dikh sakte hain monaco rashes is is straight depression you know vertical like vertical depressions uh, on the nail you can see that and this is usually seen in elderly patients very very normal very normal this is because of the nail becoming thin and having those ridges you know vertical ridges from from the base to the tip like from prox- proximal end to the distal end this are the cause is normal aging and then uh trauma to the nail trauma means i would say torture to the nail or insulting the nail by frequently washing the harsh soaps manicure pedicures and so many other things worms and nails worms are associated with such nails you should see that the nail is always cut 
um, so that uh, it is a safe place for the eggs to lie, eggs to be there when uh, they you know play in mud or something, and then uh, it goes into the mouth, and then uh, that is how the life cycle of worm. If you see, the nail is very important. Fecal oral route may be very important. So see that the nails are cut short. Coming to nail art, which is another booming industry now. The nail art, you paint the nail, and so many things which I I don't know how people do, how people spend on that, and how people maintain that. No, maintain that for this you need to not work. I would say if you work, it means it is all the nail art that is seen. It's a total. It's like a saloon. You get nail. Uh, I don't know what it is called, nail saloon or some nail. I don't know, nail. See, these are all things. I don't know how they can do this and maintain this. But yes, this is in style now. Nails can get damaged due to nail paint. Nails can get dry and lusterless after the, the nail is painted for a long time. Nail can absorb the toxins in the nail polish, and nail can get stained beyond repair also. So nail polish will make it look beautiful, but at the same time, is going to cause some damage to the nail also. Now, what is what is nail polish, nail paint, nail lacquer? So many things, you know. It's it's the same thing. It's like telling washroom, toilet, and whatever you know. पीछे पीछे जाएगा तो क्या बोलते थे हम लोग वो सब चीज़ तो ना इट्स लाइक डिफरेंट नेम ओनली. Whereas it originated in a different way. Nail polish was previously they used to just polish the nail when there was nothing. They used to polish. Oh, hundreds of years ago, they used to just polish and make it shine. Shine. Then came the nail paint. Then thicker form of it came the lacquer. And now it all got mixed. And now everybody calls it nail paint, nail lacquer, nail paint. थोड़ा सा It's just like washrooms and toilets, you know. Restrooms, washrooms, toilet, all mean the same thing, but for us, a sophisticated look. That called nail lacquer, nail paint. Will you say that? Nail polish. Will you say that? It's like that. This is what how the nail can get damaged over a period of time by using this nail polish, nail paint, nail remover. Because every time you put a nail paint, you use a nail polish, nail paint remover, which is acetone or something, and then you keep damaging the whole part. But don't worry about it. Whatever gets absorbed, उतना बहुत कम absorb है. And जो damage हो गया, that will not be forever, ना. So from here to here, आने में तीन महीने से छः महीने लगेगा. So if you keep quiet for three months to six months, the new nail that is coming ahead will be a good nail. So you can ये पाप धुल सकता है. Nail paint and pulse oximeter, big question mark, because nail paint can can थोड़ा सा alter the readings of uh, the oximeters. But certain colors only can interfere, not all, and the difference is also not too much, so it's not a very serious thing. But uh, needs to be, you know, nail paint के अंदर आपको अगर oxygen कम दिखता है या कुछ ऐसा कुछ दिखता है, so be be थोड़ा uh, सा alert about it. So the nail paint can alter the pulse oximeter reading also.